Not all orthopedic implants are created equal, and the secret often lies in the material they are made of. From the titanium in your hip to the polyethylene in your knee, each material plays a unique role in recovery, durability, and surgical success. Welcome to Ortho Implants for Life, your one-stop channel for all orthopedic implant-related information. And today we are deep diving into orthopedic implant materials. In this video, we'll break down the materials that make modern implants possible and why they matter more than you think. This video is for educational purposes only and not intended as medical or manufacturing advice. Always consult a healthcare or biomedical professional for decisions related to orthopedic implants and materials. Implants need to do more than just hold bone together. They must be strong, lightweight, biocompatible, corrosion resistant, and in many cases, built to last decades inside the body. That's why orthopedic material science is such a specialized and rapidly advancing field. Let's start with metals, the backbone of orthopedic implants. 1. Stainless steel. Affordable and easy to shape, stainless steel is used in trauma implants like plates and screws, but it's prone to corrosion over time and often avoided in permanent implants. 2. Titanium and titanium alloys. Lightweight, strong and biocompatible, titanium is the gold standard for hip and dental implants. Its oxide layer protects it from corrosion and helps it bond with bone, a process called osseointegration. 3. Cobalt chromium alloys. These are extremely strong and wear-resistant, ideal for high-load applications like knee replacements. But they're much stiffer than bone, which can sometimes lead to stress shielding, a condition where the implant takes too much load and the bone weakens. 4. Tantalum rare and expensive. Tantalum is porous like a sponge. That makes it ideal for revision surgeries or complex cases where bone growth into the implant is critical. 5. LVM also known as low-modulus beta-titanium alloys. These next-gen alloys are gaining attention for their low elastic modulus, closer to that of bone, which helps reduce stress shielding significantly. They offer a great balance of strength, flexibility and biocompatibility. Perfect for load-sharing implants, especially in younger or more active patients. While metals handle the heavy lifting, non-metal materials add key benefits in flexibility and articulation. One. U H M W P E, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, used in joint replacements, especially for articulating surfaces, durable and low friction, though it can degrade over time. Two, ceramics, alumina, zirconia, hard, smooth, and extremely biocompatible. Ceramics resist wear but are brittle under sudden impact. Three, bioabsorbable polymers, P L L A P G A. These materials naturally degrade over time, used for temporary screws and pins. Great for younger patients but not ideal for high-stress regions. What's next in implant materials? 3. Deprinted porous titanium for customized patient fit. Bioactive coatings like hydroxyapatite and silver for osseointegration and antimicrobial defense. Magnesium alloys that dissolve after healing, ideal for temporary load-bearing. Smart implants with embedded sensors to monitor healing in real time. Every material has its strengths and challenges. Whether you're a student, surgeon or innovator, knowing your materials means making better decisions for both patient outcomes and product innovation. As we move into the future, materials like LVM beta titanium alloys and biodegradable metals could redefine the standard for orthopedic care. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it and if you are new to our channel subscribe it hit the bell icon to get notifications for all our upcoming videos join us to excel in this orthopedic implant industry and to know more about the job and career growth which is available in this industry thank you see you again next week